Live from the Kennedy Greenhouse Studio, this is SGTV News 4. What's up, Carolina? I'm Kendall Smith. And I'm Nathaniel Lemons. Welcome to Carolina Calendar. We're here keeping you up to date on what's happening around campus, in Columbia, and throughout the state. This week on the show, we will talk about the Campus Movie Fest, the Black History Parade taking place in Columbia, and later we will bring on a very talented guest. We have some really exciting events around campus to kick off the show this week. Nathaniel, can you tell me what do we have first? Absolutely, Kendall. Welcome back to the show. First up, we've got Broadway and Columbia putting on Wicked these coming weeks at the Coger Center for the Arts. The show will be running from January 22nd to February 9th, and tickets are available online or over phone. Now, I've heard that a lot of these shows are already sold out. I bet they are. I am actually going next Wednesday with my mom, and we had to get tickets like two months in advance. So That's insane. Everybody wants to go, That's and insane. I don't blame them. I haven't, since I've been here, there hasn't been a show like Wicked, a Broadway show This in is Columbia. definitely a very big deal for Columbia art scene. Wicked is an iconic part of the Broadway world. And I'm just kind of upset that I haven't gotten to see it yet. I know, I know. It's definitely going to be an amazing show. I think anybody who has the opportunity to go should definitely do it. I mean, absolutely. it's going to be one for the books here in Columbia. So that is a very exciting event going on the next couple of weeks. Now, what else do we have here in Columbia? Well, keeping in line with sort of the arts theme, we've got the Campus Movie Fest at USC. That'll be February 4th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Russell House. You can register to make a movie online, and it's one of the country's largest student film festivals. Everything you know at, about making a movie will, can be found online, and it's just a really good opportunity to get involved with movie making. That sounds like a great chance for a lot of our students to get creative and, and show their work. I know even through student media here at South Carolina, we have 1080C, which is you know student film. So anybody who's really passionate about this can get out there and show you know what they've got. Our tech producer, Graham, actually has entered it for the past three years really? and has done pretty well. Do you know anything about the prizes for this? Is there any like money involved? <laughs> I am not sure enough to say. I think it's more just sort of recognition right. for the work you've done. But Resume still, booster and the fact that it's still, one of the largest in the world. Absolutely. I mean, that's unbelievable. Here at Columbia, once again, we just have mm -hmm. all of these amazing opportunities to show off what we know. All right. Well, what else is going on in Columbia, Kendall? Well, we have the Jason Aldean We Back Tour here tonight in Columbia. This is going to be a great one. Riley Green and Morgan Wallen are joining. It starts at 7.30 p.m. and ticket prices start at $60 once again. I think that is a good deal for that much talent. And I heard they're even cheaper than that at this point. Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, sure. I don't know, but maybe go you look, get, go you check. Get yeah. Three of the most talented country singers on the scene right now: Jason Aldean, Riley Green, Morgan Wallen. I mean, that and is worth. Even if you're about. not a country fan, these guys are very talented and produce a lot of different music. So. Absolutely. It's a and we were talking before out. the show. There's honestly not a bad seat in the house at CLA. Oh no. 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 Even up in the top step, there is perfect view. It's a good time. Yes. Well, that is definitely going to be fun now. Anything else going on? Well, we've got the Jazz Night at Zaz Pizza on 2930 Divine Street. That's from 9 p.m. to midnight. It's a full pizza and drink menu, and all ages are welcome. This sounds like a really fun thing to do. Once again, we have the full food and drink menu and the Jazz Festival going off of last week with what Absolutely. went on in Charleston. This sounds like a great time. You get to eat, you get to enjoy some jazz, and all ages are welcome. So, you sounds know, like something if to you're do babysitting, with friends, just you to can relax. bring the kids you babysit. You can go with your friends, your mm -hmm. family. It's going to be a great experience. And I guess jazz is just flourishing in the state of South Carolina. I guess I'm going to have to get on board with it, Kendall. We're I know gonna you're going to, go. to the country concert, but we'll have to find some jazz. I'll for switch jazz. it up. Maybe I'll go jazz <laughs> at some point. We can practice our shagging too. We're just going to be so cultured, we are musically, going to have the dancing down. wise. I mean, look at us go. Well, fantastic, Nathaniel. Thank you so much. When we come back, we will have your latest on the big things happening around the state. So stay tuned. 
Welcome back, everyone. We're joined now by a reporter, Caden Dinkins, who's got the latest on what's big in the state right now. How are you today, Caden? I'm great. How are y'all? Good. 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 Awesome. What you got for us? So, um, starting off, if you want to get a weekend um, to learn to get cultured and learn about history and or just have a plain old good time, check out the Black History Parade in Columbia. It is the 16th annual statewide history parade. It starts Saturday, February 1st at 12 p.m. It begins on Hardin and Hampton Street. There will be live entertainment, education booths, vendors, and more. For more information, you can contact FUNDS Incorporated at 803-361-5470. This sounds oh like gosh. a pretty big event, 16 years Yes. Now. I've heard that it's a good time and it's really inclusive of everybody. So I think that would be a pretty good thing to get involved I with. I know, I mean, once again, Columbia just continuing to stay cultured, continuing to bring about these events in our city that just honestly, like you said, are so inclusive and involve so many people. So that's really, really exciting. Yeah, Columbia is definitely a place to be if you want to learn about history. And I think it's a really great thing that we celebrate all sorts of ethnicities and backgrounds yes. and histories throughout the year, not just during specific times. Absolutely, so. and there's gonna be entertainment, education, vendors, and more, so not only is it just like a parade, but you're gonna have opportunities yes. to get out there, meet new people, participate in different things, which is always a great time here in Columbia. It gives you a little spice up to the it week. Does. You do something Absolutely. different, so yeah. What else do we have, Caden? So, after that, we have the MGC Long Run. It is February 15th. Our fe it's also February 1st. Three different races are available. It is the 15K, a 5K, and the Fun Run for Kids. It starts at the corner of Main and Lady Street. All proceeds go to the USO South Carolina. And to register, you can go to mgclongrun.com. Once again, keeping up with the runs, yes. the 15K. That sounds like a lot. I might try that fun race <laughs> yes. for the kids. It is for a great cause, though. I mean, yes. can we get out there and run a 15K for the veterans? Yes. Absolutely. I think we I could. Think so. But still, I mean, just an opportunity once again for a great cause. Get out there, run. Start off the month with a... Healthy oh yeah, time. if you didn't start off your new year, new year the way that you <laughs> wanted to with, you know, getting back into the workout habits, you can start now in February. Yes, you know, as February 1st. A lot of people do that. February 1st, kick it off right, go support our veterans, 5K, 15K, yes. and a kid's fun run. And you had one in the park last week for us, Caden. This one's downtown, so yes, people are really running all over the place. They're spreading it out. Not me, sadly, but uh, <laughs> maybe we should change that. So. All right. Well, when we come back, we'll have Connor Sees, a freshman guitarist, to talk about his musical life and talents. So stay tuned. Welcome back, Gamecocks. We are thrilled to be joined now by our special guest, Connor Cease, a performer and freshman at USC. Thank you so much for joining us, Connor. How are you today? Absolutely. I'm doing great. How about y'all? We're doing great. pretty well. We're glad to have you. We are. We're so glad to have you. And we hear you are quite the guitarist. Am I right? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Aww. Just a little bit. Well, that's not what we hear. I mean, we've apparently seen, you're pretty good. We've seen and heard some things. We so. have. We have. So. I appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about that. What made you want to learn how to play the guitar? How long have you been playing? So I used to watch my grandfather who played guitar all the time when I was a kid. I used to like hold the guitar and I dreamt, you know, of playing the guitar. And I, I assumed it was just impossible that I would never learn it. Um, one day I was sitting, he had this like computer room where he had his guitars at and I saw it look at, I saw it sitting on the wall and I looked at it and I was like, I'm just gonna try. So I went on YouTube, I attempted to learn a song it was probably terrible, but I, I, I like doing it enough so that I'm still playing today. So that was six years ago. So, so are you self-taught then? Yes, I am. You are. That's so impressive. you've wow. never had an instructor. I have never had an instructor. Wow, no. that is so impressive. You don't hear that as often nowadays. I know. Nowadays it's more people train it. Um, did you look to any sort of like artists or genres for inspiration for your sound? Um, I used to be really into like 90s alternative kind of music, okay. it was a lot of you know riffs and stuff to learn there. Uh, but since I've been playing, since I've got older, I venture into you know all different genres. I play a lot of stuff. Um, you guys were talking about jazz. I've just recently gotten into jazz music, so wow. you know, I kind of venture all over the place. So. What is the most favorite song that you know how to play on your guitar? Oh boy, I have no idea. I know way too many, and I know partial ones. So I'm not sure if I could pick a favorite one. I do like playing. Cherry Wine, which is the one I, I played for this concert series. That's a lot. That one's a lot of fun to play. It sounds really cool. 
That is Sounds so good. fantastic. Yeah. What are what are your future goals with playing the guitar? Like, do you have? Do you want to be in a band? Do you want to audition for America's Got Talent? I mean, what is on next um, for Connor? Cease? If I could join a band, that would be awesome. If my guitar playing could take off, that would be awesome. Um, I'm in a business school right now, so I'm gonna stick with that path, but if somehow guitar takes <laughs> off, that would be absolutely amazing. So you got a nice little side hustle of absolutely. playing the guitar businessman by day, guitar player <laughs> by night, make a little extra cash. Smart and creative. I don't Sounds blame you like at all. I know, I know. You'll be bringing in the bucks. Well, that is so fantastic. And we will see more of you tomorrow on Friday Morning Live, correct? Yes, man. Right. right. So can't, look, can't wait for that. I yeah. know, I know. You are going to be performing 10 a.m. Friday Morning Live on SGTV tomorrow. And we have a little teaser, I hear, yeah, right yeah, I now on Carolina Calendar. We're going to see a bit of what Connor Cease has to offer. You can catch the live full performance tomorrow. So let's check it out. I think he undersold himself. I think so too. That was fantastic. And you're only a freshman. I mean, I can't wait to see the full performance tomorrow. I can't I'm gonna either. be there watching, absolutely. Where can we see it? Friday morning live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Check out the rest of Connor's performance. That is so exciting. Thank you so much, Connor. You are fantastic. And thank you for talking with us once again. We will be right back after this break, so stay tuned. Well, that's all we've got for this week's show. Be sure to stay tuned every week to find out more about what's going on in Columbia and around the state. Make sure to also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SGTV at USC. Reporting for Carolina Calendar, I'm Katie Dinkins. I'm Nathaniel Lemons. And I'm Kendall Smith. Have a great week, Carolina. Forever to thee.